Within daily healthcare, but also for studying diseases, we continuously generate data in the clinic and in the lab. Indeed, medical research is very much about data, but data alone is not enough. Just like rough gemstones need to be refined, information has to be derived from data and transformed into knowledge and answers. This is the role of the Bioinformatics Core at the Luxembourg Center for Systems Biomedicine of the University of Luxembourg. This group of computer scientists and bioinformaticians is working on unlocking the full potential of this ever-growing amount of complex scientific data. There's a lot of research going on worldwide where a lot of data are produced, but it's not used in a different context or in another question maybe somebody else has in mind. And our job is really to get these data, to curate them, that you really can compare these large data sets and the question you have in mind. To give life to data, make it usable and provide solutions for its entire life cycle in order to find new ways to understand very complex diseases and accelerate biomedicine both in academia and industry. That's the mission of the Bioinformatics Core. Something like Parkinson, Alzheimer. These are very heterogeneous and multifactorial diseases, and we have to understand the whole system over time also. So the only chance is that we get yeah, as clean data as possible and from all the systems involved. And this is from DNA, RNA, proteins, metabolism, uh, you know, up to lifestyle, uh, risk factors and so on. Biomedical data comes in a lot of different formats. These huge amounts of heterogeneous data need to be systematically collected, harmonized and integrated. The Bioinformatics Core has developed a workflow for data management that contains every step of the process. The key is to get control over the data right from the beginning. No matter if from a lab or a clinic, if containing brain images, blood samples, or patient interviews. You need to have the same standard to integrate the data and also to compare the data produced in other part of the world. We all uh, has to speak the same language, you know, applying the same terminologies and ontologies so that the data can be easily uh, interoperable. So this is what we did in Luxembourg with the Parkinson's disease study. We applied standards from the day one so that we don't have to invest a lot of resources later to clean this mess. After the data has been cleaned and processed, it is hosted on central servers. As a lot of the data is very sensitive, especially in biomedical science and in the health sector, another key expertise of the Bioinformatics Core is to guarantee the protection of the data and the privacy of the study participants. Data protection is one of our biggest priorities in Bioinformatics Core, and with the new regulations in place like the GDPR, uh, we need to ensure that uh, there are safeguards in place. So for instance, we ensure that data is only transmitted through encrypted communication channels. Also, only authorized parties can access it with strong authentication like two-factor authentication. Uh, we train researchers on how to handle human data, uh, also, we have institutional policies and we have tools to document what we're doing with the data. Then, data has to be made accessible and ready for sharing. It's availability registered in so-called data catalogs. This way, authorized researchers can find the relevant information and perform further analyses. As a member of Elixir, a European research network whose goal is to manage and safeguard life science data across Europe, the Bioinformatics Core is contributing to fully use the information collected by all. Besides providing easy and safe access to structured data, the Bioinformatics Core also performs in-depth analysis of the data. The team uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to answer specific questions. For example, as part of the National Center for Excellence in Research in Parkinson's disease, researchers analyze data on the gait of Parkinson's patients to understand better the progression of the disease and develop ways to prevent falls. 
intelligent connected devices and social media will produce more and more useful data, a potential gold mine for research. This is actually changing our data flow completely. Now we don't get, you know, Excel files or databases which are lying around. Now we get uh, 24 hours uh, data from the sensors. And uh, if you think about some of these sensors, you would like to react fast. So you have to do also the processing on the fly and giving notifications to the doctor and he calls the patients, etc. Medical research can move to unprecedented insights into health and disease by integrating the data from all the different sources. The future lies in the close cooperation of people willing to donate their data and data scientists who make sense out of it. Giving life to data here at the Luxembourg Center for Systems Biomedicine. This may also mean improving life through data, for example, by finding new treatments for diseases.